So, Radot is finally here. As most of you watching this already know, there's been a lot of buzz about Radot lately. It's a fork of Godot, but how is it different? Let's rewind a bit for those of you who missed it. Radot was created after some disagreements in the Godot community. If you've been following the game dev world, you know the reasons. So, what do I think? Well, to me, Radot is interesting. Right now, it's basically another version of Godot, just with a different philosophy. And Red. It's still in its early days, so whether it will succeed or not really depends on how the community builds it. Can it succeed? Sure, it can. But here's the thing. Radot has to set itself apart. If it just stays a copy of Godot without offering something better or more unique, I'm not sure how long it'll last. This isn't about hating Godot either. I get where Godot is heading and I'm okay with it. But there are people like me who don't really care for the political stuff that sometimes comes up. So, is this the end of Godot? Absolutely not. Godot is still strong. They're rolling out new updates and the engine is in a good place overall. Sure, controversies happen, but that's part of any organization, right? Things settle down eventually. If you're sticking with Godot, awesome. If you're thinking about giving Radot a try, go for it, especially if you like the idea of a more politics-free approach. My biggest takeaway, Radot can be better and more feature-rich than Godot, but only if it moves beyond being a simple clone. It has to bring something new to the table. If that happens, I'll be happy because at the end of the day, it's the community that decides where we go with these tools. So those are my thoughts. But what about you? Will you keep using Godot after all this? Or are you planning to jump ship to Radot? Drop your thoughts in the comment. Subscribe if you stand with Godot. Future videos will be coming any day. Have fun, happy game dev.